All right, hit it. At the end of the DuckTales episode, The Beagle Birthday Massacre, I was so excited for little Webby. She had finally found a friend who she could go on adventures with, and then Lena turns to the camera and I was just like, she's up to no good. Then the music shifts, and this feels like a totally different show. And suddenly, Lena starts saying some really weird stuff. Summon spirit from the dark. Show thyself before this ark. Free thy dread soul from its prison. Once more shall thee be arisen. And Magica? I'm in. I felt so bad for Webby, but you better believe I was intrigued and had some questions. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watch Other Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I will attempt to explain Lena's amulet and who is Aunt Magica. Aunt Magica is actually a reference to one of Scrooge's most famous villains, Magica de Spell. Created by Karl Barks as an evil sorceress, Magica made her original debut in 1961 in the Midas Touch with the goal to obtain Scrooge's number one dime the first time he had ever earned. Magica de Spell was in constant pursuit of Scrooge's dime, but she wasn't alone. Accompanying her in her evil schemes was her brother Poe de Spell, who was transformed into a raven and, in a few instances, her niece Minima de Spell. Over the years, Magica has continued to pursue that darn dime, which is likely still the goal of Lena and her aunt in the new DuckTales show. The reason Magica de Spell was after the number one dime in previous stories was because she believed it to be a lucky charm, which could be channeled to form an amulet with the ability to grant a user the Midas Touch, the ability to touch an object to turn it to gold. You know what they say, money is power, except when your power is 30 cents. In the past, Magica has pursued the creation of a new amulet However, in the new DuckTales, there is already a talisman with some unique powers. We have seen Lena use the amulet to perform powerful magic, like telekinesis, to lift a train car and pull Beakley out from under it. She also has been seen performing a certain spell to summon Magicka through her shadow. Regardless of whether she will want to create the amulet with the magic touch or not, her pursuit of Scrooge's favorite dime will surely persist. See, most people believe the number one dime to be the lucky charm that caused the wealth of Scrooge McDuck, but Magicka believes Scrooge's wealth is what gives the dime its power, which she has theorized after many attempts at stealing it. On more than one occasion, Magica has successfully stolen the dime, but in the process, her actions caused the dime to lose its status as the first coin owned by the richest duck on Earth. In the story of Ducks and Dimes and Destinies, when she travels back in time and ends up in Glasgow to steal the dime, she finds Bert the Ditch Digger, the man who originally paid Scrooge the dime for shining his boots, and offers to buy the dime from Bert for 10 pence. But Bert, realizing American money is unspendable in his native Scotland, easily agrees to Magica's trade. But Magica suddenly comes to the conclusion that if Bert pays Scrooge's shoeshine bill of 5 pence, one of those shillings would become his number one coin instead of the dime. During another attempt in A Little Something Special, Magica teams up with Flintheart Glomgold and the Beagle Boys in a plan made by Grandpa Beagle. While the others steal all of Scrooge's money, Magica realizes the number one dime's lucky abilities are nullified once Scrooge was stripped of his title as the richest man on Earth. Personally, I've never had any lucky items. When I was really young, I would try to find something that was lucky for me, like a lucky sock that I could wear. But after I washed it, I never knew which one it was because all of my socks were the same color and length. That's awesome that Scrooge has one and I'd love to hear the lucky items you have in the comments section. In the past, Magica Dispel has been after the dime to allow her to become fabulously wealthy by creating unlimited gold. But we have actually seen the dime used in other spells by Magica's shadow. In the 80s DuckTales series, in the episode Magica's Shadow War, Magica Dispel casts a spell to separate her own shadow from her body and give it life. 
The Shadow is instructed to stealthily sneak into Scrooge's mansion and steal the dime by manipulating the Shadow Glass case. However, after mistaking the billionaire's moose head trophy for a monster, the frightened minion returns to her mistress. Magica berates her slave for the failure, but theorizes that it was because the Shadow was not strong enough. The witch prepares another spell to rectify this, but then changes her mind, feeling that her creation has already botched things up enough. However, determined to become more powerful, Magica's shadow seizes upon an opportunity to lock Magica in a closet and completes the spell, transforming her into a scarier shadow with red eyes. Now, doesn't that look a lot like the shadow we are familiar with in the reboot? Magica's shadow multiplies into numerous clones and plans on using the number one dime to free all people's shadows from their masters. To vanquish the shadow, Scrooge is forced to work with Magica to use the dime to destroy the shadow minions and ambush Magica's shadow to break the spell. There is only room in this world for one Magica to spell. Thank goodness. Her niece has shown to use some type of magical amulet that can provide her with power and allow her to summon a shadow version of Magica. In addition, by examining the history of the character, it also seems safe to assume she will be after Scrooge's number one dime for its magical abilities, which I think will be used to free Magica from the amulet. Lena states, Free thy dread soul from its prison. The way this is phrased by Lena makes it seem like Magica is trapped within the amulet itself, and maybe some of her power can leak out, but my prediction is that the dime will be the key to freeing Magica de spell completely. Until we get more episodes though, this is really only speculation. So that's everything we know about Magica and what I think will likely be her role in future episodes. I'm super excited to see what will come about from her character and I think she is going to be a big enemy for the Ducks of Duckburg. from the dark show thyself before this ark free thy dread soul from its prison once more shall be arisen oh no is the camera still going okay let's just forget about me meddling with my shadow and move on to the question of the day sponsored by my patrons what do you think will happen with magicka day spell let me know your thoughts in the comment section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed this video, then click that like button. If you'd like to stay up to date with new magical videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And to see more Watson videos, then check out some awesome pics over there. As always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.